Hey guys! So today I have a really exciting video for you. It is my IMAX 2013 haul. Okay, um, first of all let me start off by saying it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. I spent a lot of money, but you know what? I look at this and I say I spent the number I spent and I'm like it was well worth it. So I'm gonna go through the things and I will be saying prices if um, it's on there, but if it isn't then... I'm afraid I won't or if I can't remember. But before we get straight into the IMATS haul, I did just want to do a very, very, very small little um, haul from Victoria's Secret right here because it, it is quite small, there's only three things. Um, because I went there before I went to IMATS, so the day before, because we were in London for three days. We stayed obviously two nights and we went to the Victoria's Secret there and you guys know I had Victoria's Secret in when I was living out in Malaysia so for me it wasn't like a massive like novelty going to Victoria's Secret but um, it definitely was going to the bottom floor which was pink so it's like the pink clothing and some fragrance. There wasn't a massive choice of fragrance but if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen the um, wall of fragrances there and I did pick up two items and I also picked up a hoodie. Now they have like tracksuit bottoms and hoodies and everything if you're in the US you already know what I'm on about. They were kind of, ex not extremely, but they were kind of expensive but I did end up getting one like, okay, this is the hoodie I ended up getting. It's a light orange colour um, because this was kind of my favourite and it is really nice because it's thin and it's sort of like thick as well so it's easy for summer or winter. Um, and it looks like this, and uh, I got like a bigger one because I wanted it to be a bit big. Uh, long baggy arms, and then this side says pink right here on the chest. It is a hoodie, like this, um, and the back, a lot of stuff didn't say anything on the back, but I wanted one that said something on the back and it just says pink. I love this, this was, what was this? Yeah, 39.50. Then, of course, I had to get fragrance, you guys know already, probably from just having, like, my vlog looking around my room. I have a massive, massive Victoria's Secret perfume and body spray collection that goes along with my Bath & Body Works um, body spray and candle collection. You guys know I have a massive love and a big, big collection of those, considering I live in the UK, quite far away from a Bath & Body Works. But I do have a quite big extensive collection that I am just in love with. And I went in there and I seen this one, which this is the pink sweet and flirty. It smells like raspberries. Honestly, I have nothing like this in my collection. I love it. And it's purple. I don't have any purple ones. I only think I have a purple Bath and Body Works one, which is Twilight Woods. But oh, it just smells amazing. It smells like a juice I drink. It smells like tropical juice. And Sweet and Flirty is such a cute little name. I, I love this. And this was £15. And the next thing I got was this, which is a pink lotion. Now this is pink, warm and cosy. And this scent is Toasted Vanilla and Peony. Um, and honestly, this thing smells amazing. It's like... Oh, you can seriously taste, like, smell and taste that vanilla. Like, you smell it and you taste it. It's so good. The bottle is actually neon pink. I can't really see if it's translating to too like good on this camera but yep and it is a massive tub of it and this is just gonna go on my bedside table when it arrives from next because next has been like sending me letters saying like sorry we don't know where it is what's happening and I'm like I need my bedside table and my stool because this thing is like one we've had for oh, like a decade and I want my nice stool but yes, I love this, and this one was £13, so it's bigger, but it was £13, and that was 15 doesn't really make much sense, but, you know, that's the world nowadays. Okay, now we can get down to the real business. Okay, so at IMATS I picked up a good two massive bags full of um, stuff, and, like, you look at it and you'll probably be like, Amy, you could have got that in one bag, but the people actually give you, like, bags from their companies, and they kind of, like, put extra stuff in it, so it ends up filling up really fast, but we got two big bags, and then down here I have four flat-packed of these bags. No, I'm not one of those weird people who just take the bags to be like, oh my god, it says Inets, but we actually needed, like, my mum had two bags on the first day, I had two bags on the first day, and then the second day we both had one. First of all, I think I might as well just start off with what I'm wearing. This is a t-shirt I bought when I was at IMATS, and it says IMATS Tour 2013, and it's just got, like, this girl with, like, these big flicks and stuff on. I loved this shirt. This shirt was £15, and it's, they did it in, like, a tang, which is this, um, and then they had, like, baggy shoulders, and they had long sleeves, they had men, they had, like, children. They had quite a lot, but I love this. And then the best thing about it, really, is the back. And it says, 
my god, I can't really see what it says. It says IMAX 2013 and it says all the places that it goes. So it's got like LA, um, New York, London, Tokyo and Sydney, I believe. I don't know if that's the right order. Don't don't hold me to that. But I love this shirt and I just thought it was kind of appropriate to wear for the video. My mum got one as well because she was really excited to be there. But because I went with my mum and it was amazing because my mum's like my best friend. So it was fantastic and she got one and it was really nice. But her one was like once it got off the shoulder and that was 26 and this was 15. But I like this style the best. So and I can just borrow my mom's if I want to swap and she can borrow mine. So we were like, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to start off with the actual haul now and go into things I bought individually. So if I start off with this. The first thing, this isn't in order of things I bought by the way. First of all, got a lip tar from OCC. This was on my shopping list when I went to IMAX. And I thought it would be £7, but this was actually £12, which... Still isn't that bad because if you don't know what lip tars is you probably do but if you don't know what it is it's a very 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 highly pigmented lipstick now these do dry matte if you're worried that they're like going to be too glossy to put on these do dry matte but you need the tiniest of tiniest of bits and put it on because well to put it in perspective for you this is 50 percent pigment the ones you would get on the market like rimmel or revlon are only 10 to 12 percent pigment so yeah this is 50 percent pigment which is a hell of a lot and it dries matte and this color is in hush um it's a beautiful nude pink color i love it and i'd say if you wore this every day at least it would at least last you a year it is really big and like I said you only need the tiniest of little bits. Next thing I got was sort of like an impulsive buy. My mom actually went to the store and she bought a palette from them. It was a full 20 palette of these big eyeshadows and it was £33 but she really wanted it and it would look really nice and they're really good pigments. I tried them out. But there was one colour in there that I really wanted. Now I've never heard of this brand. You guys are probably going to think I'm stupid but I haven't heard of this brand. Um, and it's called Meron. Now, I love this colour. It's like a beautiful taupe colour and it just comes out like of the packaging like this. And it's just like this and you open it up and there's the colour. Um, and it is just so beautiful. It's like a burnt taupe. And I do have a similar one colour like this in my Naked 2 palette. But I did like this one a bit more. I don't know. I just <laughs> It was £5 and I wanted to buy this and I thought it looked really nice. I thought I'd be spontaneous and try something new. And so I tried this baby and I have actually tried it in my mum's palette but this is brand new so I can show it to you guys. Okay next I went to Eldora. Now I am not a massive lash wearer. Like when I go out for a good like occasions I definitely will wear them. Um, not all the time but I will because I have quite naturally big lashes. I don't see the need to put fake lashes on. But recently I have wanted to try half lashes so I went to Eldora and my mum actually likes lashes so she picked up two because it was three for ten. So she picked up two and there was no other one she really liked so she's like do you want one and I've seen these half lashes and I thought yeah I'll take them. So these are the lashes they're just like really dense half lashes and I'm really excited about trying these. Okay the next thing I got was something I sort of went there to get. Um, it's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. I'm in the shade 35. It took me a while to match myself because I was in between 35 and 45 and they didn't have a 40, sorry. Um, but this, actually, I'm wearing it today and it is a perfect, perfect colour. So I was happy that I got this and it's just a really, really nice um, foundation. A lot of people were going for the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, but I did want that a while ago, but then I prefer a matte finish, so I decided to go for this. And this was 1980, I believe, which I think the original is 24, so it was like a really big discount. So I did want to get this. And I'm also in the process of getting my Dior Air Flash foundation. I really did like that. I tried that out in Selfridges and I nearly bought it, but I thought, you know, let's just wait and see the price of this. And this was really cheap, so I was just like, you know, I'll wait and get Dior Air Flash when I'm back in Bristol. And I'm back here and I love this, so I want to go get Air Flash at another point, but I definitely do want to get it because it was fantastic. It was beautiful. But this is an amazing, amazing foundation, but my only complaint is it's kind of small. I do get through foundation pretty fast, so let's just hope that this doesn't disappear like magic, because I have a feeling it will. Okay, then the next thing I got and was really, really, really excited about, I went to NARS, and when I got to NARS, which was sort of like in the middle of day one, there was five palettes left, and I just immediately grabbed one. So it came in this box, um, and this is the NARS Makeup Artist Palette. Um, so I thought, you know, makeup artist, 
maybe I should buy it. It was really cheap and I really have wanted this from NARS. I only have one thing from NARS, as you guys may know. It is my NARS Turkish Delight um, lip gloss, which is nearly out and I probably should have bought a new one. <laughs> but this is the palette right here. I've seen loads of fakes of these, like on, I don't know, these websites and they look disgusting, but um, this is obviously real because it's from the NARS counter. Um, and if you open it up, it just looks like this. Sorry for the mirror, but you can't really help it in these videos. Um, so it does come with four eyeshadows, one blush, one bronzer, and four lip products. So with the um, eyeshadows, this white is called Himalayas. This beautiful taupe, which I'm really excited about, is called Charade. Um, this other, like, deeper taupe here is called Charade 2. And this last, like, deep purpley one is called Night Fever. But then here's what I'm most excited. This blush is actually Orgasm, which is one I've wanted to try it for so, so long. But this bronzer isn't Laguna. Um, it's Nino Chica, but it looks very similar. And it's also matte, which I'm very happy about. But the Orgasm one, obviously I haven't tried any of these out yet, just so you guys know, because I'm trying to keep it nice and clean to show you guys in this video. Then the four products here. This is actually a lip therapy. It's not a white like gloss or anything. It's a lip therapy so it's probably one that like plumps and cools. Then this beautiful nude lipstick here is called Gypsy and it's probably the one I've used the most. It's very very pretty. Then this like like reddish one is called Belle de Jour and it's a very very pretty like burnt red. I, I really do love it. And this last really deep brownish red is called Tangiaka and it is really deep. Like my mum would probably love that colour. Overall I love this palette and this, believe it or not, was £12. I could not believe it. Okay so that's all I got in that one, uh, like in individual shops. Now I'm going to go into like these stores by themselves. I got quite a lot in NYX so I'm going to leave that to last so we can end up with that. Um, but now I'm going to go into two things I got in the Guru Makeup Emporium. Okay, so the first thing I got in the Guru Makeup Emporium was a big bioderma. I don't, I didn't show it to you guys in a vlog, but I did actually purchase this small bioderma the other day because I wanted to try it out. And as you can see, like a quarter of it's already gone. I did purchase this on essentials.com because I wanted to try it out. And I've been using it every day, at least twice, in the morning and night. It's just beautiful, it's soothing, it takes off things you never even knew you had on your face. So when I seen that they had the 500ml there, I was really excited and I just bought it straight away. And these were gone um, by the second day, I couldn't see them anymore. And this was 15 95 they only did this one size. They do come in that 100ml, which I have, um, the 250ml and the 500ml. Then the next thing I got was sort of planned, but I didn't really know if I wanted to get it because I've heard quite a lot about it. And a lot of the stalls that were selling it in, like, they obviously do massive tubs, like medium sizes, which I have on, like, tiny, tiny sizes. And this is the Ben 9 Banana Powder. I heard about this from Pink Sparkles, like, quite a long time ago. But I've always been intrigued and the banana powder is like a yellowy powder and it's matte by the way, it's not shimmer or anything and it's a face powder. But the Ben 9 sort of um, line is to do a lot with the fantasy and prosthetics so that's why they do the massive tubs but I got the medium size and this was supposed to be 7 50 but they marked it down to 5 23 so I thought you know there's been loads around I sort of wanted to try it I might as well get it and I'm really happy I did. I haven't actually tried this out on my look yet but you open it up and there's like a little filter and then you can just put it in the lid and use it. I love this and I was really hoping it smelled like bananas but it doesn't. Okay, so the next places I went, there's two more shops. There's NYX and then there's Love Makeup. Love Makeup was probably one of my favourite places because it had a whole bunch of brands that I've wanted to try out. And it's the most exciting, so I'm just going to go through this and show you. Like, I don't even know where to start. So the first thing that I definitely did have on my list was to buy this, which is the Z palette. If you don't know what a Z palette is, it is basically like a empty palette with a magnetic board on the bottom so you can depart your eyeshadows or powders and it just sticks on there and you can move it around and rearrange it and stuff. They did these in like a small square size and then this big size. Um, and they did it in cheetah, black, zebra and hot pink and of course I got the hot pink. I nearly got the, the zebra but I thought pink was more my style so I did get this one and this is the biggest one they did. Um, I heard there's one size bigger and I would have got that if that was there but it wasn't. This was £12.75 which I think was quite a good price. 
and I definitely have a few things I want to dip hot into this so including this Meron eyeshadow because I hate like singles um, and I've started I've actually just got my Mac Pro card obviously because I'm a makeup artist you get like a really good discount off I'm starting to build up my eyeshadows from Mac because I do like Mac eyeshadows and I prefer to buy the pans which are a bit cheaper than buying the actual pots so I can put them in here and like rearrange them so I'm excited I got this and it definitely it was on my list to buy so it was one of the I think this was the first thing I picked up actually so yeah okay the next thing that I got was these brush guards now I have opened these up these are £3.50 sorry £3.95 they are great for brushes that are small like if we take the Sigma for example the Sigma um E40 blending brush, the taper blending brush, it's perfect for these brushes. The smaller brushes, or the pencil brush, or you know, eyebrow brushes, not that you need it on eyebrow brushes. But it's perfect for that. But it does say in here that they can like sort of cover this sort of size brushes. I'm using Sigma as an example, um, but this is the big large powder F30 brush. It would not cover this. Like we I opened up in our hotel and I tried it out and it just would not cover they just all broke and it's ridiculous this is a terrible product and they sold out really fast at IMAX so you know if you're one of these people who bought this I mean maybe maybe I'm doing something wrong I honestly don't think I am though it's it, it is just like loads of them have broke and like I said they're okay for smaller brushes but forget bigger brushes and it does say in here for brushes up to one inch wide so I was a bit confused about that I don't know and there was only just so you guys know there was only like one set size of like the brush guards because you can see them on the side and they're all about that big they're really really small um and there we looked at every single one and every single one doesn't say like small ones or um bigger ones so that was a total not a waste of money then the next thing I got at the um love makeup shop was this which is the model in a bottle finishing spray um i wanted to try this out for ages i've been on all these different um websites looking for it and this was really good this was 13.50 it was really cheap they also had the skindinavia ones there the big bottle which i would have bought but that's 23 which was still okay like i didn't mind paying that but at that time there was a couple of things i had in my hand and i was like you know i got a budget so i didn't end up getting that but then i went back the second day and i just noticed this because it's like on the bottom shelf and i was really really excited to find this because my skindinavia Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is actually running low and I use that every time I do my makeup. So I wanted to try this out and it's the Model in a Bottle Matte Finish Spray. In here it obviously it's like a matte glass bottle and then it comes with the spray pump you just put in and yeah. Okay now moving on to something else I got. I got three brushes from Sigma. I was really excited to see Sigma there but as you guys know I did just recently get my Mrs. Bunny kit back there and I also got the Sigma um, Black Boogie F80. These are all from Sigma.com. Um, oops. These are all from Sigma.com if you're wondering I'll put the link below but you know, you can probably figure out where they're from since they're Sigma brushes. I do love that flat top and I use that all the time and I've wanted the whole entire set but that's like £80 which, you know, is good value for the amount you get but there wasn't, I didn't need all of them, like there was the flat top, the round top, the angled and the tapered and you know, the flat top and the angled and the round top are all very very similar, I have the flat top but the tapered one on the other hand isn't and I really wanted the tapered one so this is the Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86 and I am in love with this so it's just the brush like this and obviously it's tapered and it's all synthetic and this is like perfect for underneath your eyes I love this so much once again I haven't tried this out but for people watching who have bought brushes at IMAT that were on like from Sigma or things that were on display easy to touch before you use this on your face make sure you wash it because imagine how many people have taken off this and just gone oh that feels nice and all their germs from their hands so make sure you wash your brushes before you use them unless you bought from like Crown Brush or the um, Langnickel, Royal and Langnickel brushes because they are um, all in packages, their own individual packages, so you shouldn't need to worry about them. But I was really excited I got this, and this was £13.40, so it was a really, really good price. Then these brushes, um, well at least one of these brushes, I was determined to buy as a single, and I nearly pressed buy before I left. But they, 
I had to buy the entire set which was I think £50 and there was four or five brushes in there, I think it was five. And I nearly pressed buy but I thought you know I'll wait and see what's at iMats because I knew Sigma weren't coming to iMats. But there may be some people who were selling Sigma and there was definitely this one place but all the brushes went pretty fast. And I managed to find these and it's their new precision brushes and they were selling them individually when on the Sigma website they don't sell them individually. They may do now but when I checked they didn't. And these were both 10 60 each and these are so amazing. So the first one I got is the Sigma Precision Flat Angled P88 brush. This brush is so perfect for concealer. Um, like around and underneath your eyes and on spots or blemishes or redness. It is such a beautiful brush. I love this to death. And then the second one I got was the Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush and it's basically like a smaller version of this guy and this is so perfect for getting into the corners and right underneath and around your sort of nose and creases. I love this brush once again. I told you it was 10.65, which I thought was a very, very good price. So on those three brushes I spent about £35, which I think is absolutely fine. It's amazing. Then the final thing I got at the um, booth, which actually I didn't see this until the last day and I'm so happy I seen it. It is a Lime Crime lipstick. Now I have been on the search for a Lime Crime lipstick for ever. It's ridiculous. I did manage to find this one and if you guys are not familiar with Lime Crime, they actually have like very extreme lip colours there. Blue and yellow and green and like this beautiful like Tiffany green colour which I couldn't wear. I'm just not that daring unfortunately. But they did have the colour that I've been looking at on these websites for ages and it's in Quoquette. And first of all, look at the beautiful packaging of Lime Crime. I love it so much. It says Lime Crime on the side and it's got a unicorn. And it's really cool. It says vegan lipstick made in the USA, not tested on animals. <laughs> Just tested on unicorns. But this colour is the one I would have definitely wear. It's probably going to be my new favourite colour. It is this amazing, beautiful nude. I am in love with this. Like, absolute love with this. I'm so glad I bought it. I love this lipstick and this was £9 so really really cheap. And now on to the final bit which is the NYX. Now this is the biggest sort of like amount, well not the biggest amount of stuff. I just kind of got a lot at NYX. I went a little bit crazy. I spent about in total 80 to 90 to to £100 at just NYX. I'm sorry. But I do love NYX and as you guys know when I was in Malaysia we did have Sephora and I did have a whole load of NYX, like these are all my jumbo eyeshadow pencils in here from NYX, a few lip products, the lipsticks up here. So I do know that I like NYX, I wasn't just buying it just in case, I knew what I liked. So um, I'm just going to start off with what I got. So the first thing I got is this nail polish. I don't own a nail polish from NYX but I do have a nail polish rack up here that I um, actually don't even have a colour like this and it's a neon pink and yes it is what's on my nails right now. I'm in love with this and this is in pink on steroids and I love it. You get loads of product, it's like a massive thing and I think this was £4 which is so cheap and I love it. Then the next thing I got was three of their circle or round lipsticks, I can't remember what they're called, I think they're called round lipsticks. But I got three, one of them's a repurchase and it is this one which is called pure nude and they were only three pounds so I'm like what? And I picked up this one which actually I just realized it's like a shimmery pink which I don't really like shimmery lipsticks but oh well. This is in harmonica and it's a really nice like sort of light pink. Then this last one is a beautiful matte pink and it's in strawberry milk. Then just randomly I got a NYX sharpener. This was four pounds and I needed this because I needed to sharp sharpen my NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencils. Speaking of NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencils, I got six this time. They were retailing for four pounds each, three or four pounds each, I can't really remember. But um, I do have a whole bunch up here in this pot but I love them so I wanted to extend my collection of them and I got six more here. One of them is another repurchase. I do have milk in here which actually I've just used the tip because I didn't know how to sharpen it at the time. So I kind of have two full milk ones now but I got another milk here. Um, yeah, milk. Love milk in general milk and the milk pencil. And I got this one which is a like shimmery green and it's in horseradish. I love this too. Then I got this beautiful like iridescently green blue 
um, blue and it's in peacock. Then I got this one which is like a rose gold coppery colour and it's in sparkle leopard. Then I got this one which I knew I really wanted to get and it's in cottage cheese and it's like a shimmery white. And this last one I got I picked up on the first trip I went to NYX which was on the first day and put it back down and then I got it on the second day. And it is in purple and it's just a plain shimmery purple. So those were all the Jumbo Eye Pencils I got. And this next thing definitely wasn't planned, but I did need it. Um, I've been using my Essence con um, Concealer Trio, the Forget It Concealer, and it has blue and pink in it, and I basically just use the blue and pink. But the blue does neutralise my redness, but a green would definitely do better. And I do have a green somewhere, but I don't know where it's gone. Um, so I did pick up this because I kind of needed it and it's the NYX HD Photo Concealer and it's in obviously green. This is it's high definition, mineral enriched, talc free and paraben free. So I thought that would look quite good and I think this was £5. Once again, I told you I'm not very good at remembering prices, but I'm pretty sure this was £5. Okay, then when I was there, I was really excited to see their new Extreme Lip Creams, which I've been wanting to try out. And I got two here, like a pink and a nude. The pink's in Candyland, and the nude is in Neutral. I would have picked up more of these, but with the these ones, they were, had quite similar colours, and then they had, like, deeper reds, which I did buy a deeper red, but in something else. And, like, a lot of them were very, very similar, so, you know, I wasn't going to be too picky so I just picked a pink and a nude which are my sort of favourite colours so yup. Then um, the reason I went I got four soft matte lip creams. I have as you guys know I have Tokyo and I did want to buy Tokyo again but it was sold out on the first day so I ended up picking up this one which is very similar and this is in Istanbul and they're all named after countries by the way. Then I got this really nice beautiful deep red and it's in Monte Carlo. Then this next one I got is like a sort of like dusky pink and it's in Milan. Then this last one I looked nude but now it sort of looks like a brownie nude and it's in London but I think I bought it for the name I couldn't even really remember. Then the final thing I got at NYX which is something I have wanted to get for um not really a while but I just seen it in a I'm at 2012 haul and I was like that looks really cool I think I'm gonna get that. So it was the NYX Glitter Cream Palette and I did get the big one. They had quite a lot of these, but now I'm looking at it, the packaging's really scratched, but oh well. There you get 21 um, cream shades in here. It is a massive palette. It's so big. Like, I, it's crazy. This is supposed to be £15 on their website, and it was 10 at the shop. Oh my god, it was so cheap. And, yeah, I'm just in love with it. I'm really excited about um, these colours, and I want to experiment with the brighter colours up here. Okay guys, so that concludes it for my iMats haul. I had an amazing time there and I will most certainly be going again next year. I got a very wide range as you can see from NARS to Model in a Bottle to Z Palette to Sigma to NYX. Everything was there. There wasn't actually Illamasqua there. I thought Illamasqua would be there. Not that I would have bought from them because I'm not a big fan of Illamasqua. But last year I heard that Illamasqua was a very, very big sort of thing. Like everybody was buying Illamasqua and it was very cheap. It wasn't there this year surprisingly but a lot of other stuff was that was good. So I'm going to leave this video here guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions whatsoever about iMats then please leave them below. Let me know if you went and my vlog will be up really 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 soon I promise and also make sure you watch that because I did film a lot of like people randomly just not like in their face but like I was walking around and I was above and I filmed them so if you're new to my channel you may want to go over and watch that when it's up um, so subscribe to let you know when it's up so you'll be like hey Amy I can see me in there and I'll be like cool so I'm gonna wrap it up here guys and I'll see you very very soon ciao that is mental been here how long Mum? three minutes <laughs> oh.